All right, so welcome to another episode of why he wants you to knock on his back door. Let's break it down. It's your Energizer Beauty here, back with part three of The Art of the Tale, AKA Backdoor Play. Okay, so where we last left off, I was talking about um, some of the things that can happen if you are on a regular basis indulging in backdoor play, right? We talked about the stretching of the sphincter muscle, that muscle that really is designed to hold that area tight so that feces doesn't just come out until you're ready to push it out, right? Um, and so the thing is this, if you really are enjoying backdoor play, which a lot of men and women are enjoying it, okay? Um, and this is something that you're not willing to give up because you're like, listen, I just want to do it. I love it. I have the best orgasms when I have it. And so, but I want to make sure that I'm taking care of the health of my back door. So here are some things that you can actually practice. And then I'm going to get into talking a little bit more about men and why they actually enjoy backdoor play. So your health is always most important, right? Your health over your pleasure, okay? So I want you to know your GI tract, number one. Um, and if you have conditions like irritable bowel syndrome, then you may want to refrain from backdoor play because that can sometimes trigger and that's not going to be a good thing because that's a pretty much guaranteed to be a mood killer, right? So you want to stay away from that. Also, you know that, you know, I talk about Kegels a lot, right? Talk about strengthening the pelvic floor. You can actually strengthen the sphincter muscle with that same practice doing your Kegels through the back door. Now, this may be the least popular option, but it is definitely a practice that I know that um, same-sex couples, men, um, have been using for years because if that sphincter muscle does get permanently stretched out, Remember I said that sphincter muscle is what is holding tightly together to keep feces from coming out until you're ready. So if that muscle is no longer tight and it is permanently stretched out, that means that you can't hold it when you have to go use the bathroom. That means it's going to just come out. Not fun, not pretty, you don't want it. So there are backdoor plugs, okay, that you can use that you would have to have inserted on a regular everyday basis if you don't want to have those accidents, if you are regularly indulging and engaging in backdoor practice and, you're, and you've not done the work, right? You've not been proactive. You've not been doing your Kegels, you know, things like that. You've not been taking care of the back door because, hey, you may have been engaging in backdoor play before you ever even saw me, heard of me. You may be a pro at this and you just didn't get the health information that you needed before you got into a situation to where your sphincter muscle is already stretched out, right? So then you don't need me to tell you, you probably have already gone through this. You probably already talked to a doctor, things like that. But I'm definitely talking to those that are new to this, that are beginners and may find that, oh my gosh, this is the best. I love it. I don't want to stop doing it, but I also don't want to permanently stretch out my sphincter muscle. So you're just going to have to go the extra mile. And the same way that I talk to you women about doing your Kegels to keep your pelvic floor from collapsing, then you also want to do those Kegels to strengthen that sphincter muscle to keep those things that I just discussed from happening. All right. So enough about that. Now let's talk about the men and why they both hetero and homo actually enjoy backdoor play. Now for your male partner, their G that marks the spot is their prostate. And when that area is stimulated, oh my God. Yeah. Like I said, hetero or homo, they get that feeling. It's a feeling that they want to have again and again and again. Now, it's located just inside the rectum, and the difference between their spot and our spot is theirs can really easily be stimulated internally or externally. So you don't have to go through the back door to be able to achieve that type of orgasm, um, but many just didn't know that, right? So um, let me see. Like I said, I didn't get on here to sell you product. So I don't, I didn't have anything out to show you what I'm talking about, but I think I'll just walk you through it. I don't want TikTok to block this video. So what's crazy is that it's really unclear how, like, how we're able to achieve all of this pleasure, you know, through the prostate other than just being able to stimulate those nerves back there. We just know that it happens and they like it. <laughs> so 
to reach to actually um, stimulate it externally, using a double C ring is what you need. Okay. So um, I show you, I have plenty of videos on my timeline and I'll do maybe a video tomorrow, but you know, just a regular C ring goes on to the, um, the eggplant, right? And it actually constricts the blood flow. Uh, it helps them to last longer. They're going to be stronger, harder, all the things, right? But if you have a double ring, then the second ring goes around the boys and that puts the pressure on the prostate, which is their male G that marks the spot, which allows them to achieve that very intense orgasm. So stimulating the um, eggplant, it's not the only way for your male partner to have a O gasm, but actually stimulating the G that marks the spot through the wall of the rectum will give them an enormous amount of pleasure. So much so that um, <laughs> if you try to leave them, they might just stalk your ass. Fun fact, the prostate orgasm has even been nicknamed the super O. <laughs> the male prostate gland is a walnut sized gland that's located in between the buttocks and the eggplant, okay? and. Again, um, when stimulated, it is highly uh, intense and gives lots and lots and loads and loads of ple pleasure. Like I can't stress that enough. It may help to also uh, mention that it's located just right under the bladder. Now, because of where the prostate is located, you can literally feel it by inserting a finger into the rectum. Like you can literally feel it. And although there isn't like a true definition for the G that marks the spot also, also uh, named the P spot, um, the evidence is clear. Now, the area between your scrotum and anus is actually the perineum or what's also called the taint. If you rub and stimulate that area, that you're stimulating the G that marks the spot. So in essence, the prostate, the prostate is basically up above the taint. I didn't think about this until just now, and you definitely should think about it. You want to make sure that you get permission to stimulate anyone's G that marks the spot, male or female, because everyone doesn't enjoy it. So, I mean, even though it's lots of pleasure and all the things, everyone doesn't always want it stimulated. So definitely make sure that you are asking permission before you do that. And for the men, great uh, addition to that stimulation is that if you are actually uh, masturbating at the same time that you're getting that backdoor stimulation. So there is so much more to actually discuss. I mean, everything from, you know, like I mentioned, consent, uh, coming prepared, making sure that you're um, giving yourself a manicure because you don't want to have sharp nails and cutting your partner when you're actually, you know, digging and doing those things, very important. Not skipping the foreplay, making sure that you slow down, take your time. So many different things. I don't even know if three parts will do it. Not three 10 minute parts. And I'm not doing 50 like our other girl, forget her name. But um, if you want more information, let me know because this has been a topic that a lot of people, male and female, have shown a lot of interest in. And I would love to be able to walk you through it and give you some great information so that you can at least try it the right way and do all the right things so that you can make an, an informed decision as to whether or not it's something that you enjoy, that you want or you don't want, or that you maybe want to do occasionally. I know some of you have partners that are, you know, asking for it and then you're just like, I don't know what to do. I don't like it, you know, things like that. And maybe you don't like it because there are some things that you're not doing correctly or that you could be doing that would make the experience better, or it just simply could not be your thing. And that is okay. I need you to know that, that just because other people like it doesn't mean that you're going to like it. It doesn't matter how pleasurable it is. It just may not be your thing. And I need you to know male and female that that is perfectly fine. You like what you like, and maybe you like it now or, and don't like it later. Maybe you don't like it now and you'll like it later because sometimes you feel like a nut and sometimes you don't. But I really appreciate you guys tuning in for this three-part series on backdoor play, the art of the tale. And do me a favor, like, comment, share, and follow me for more. And anything that you want me to talk about that you don't see on my timeline in my videos, let me know and I'll be more than happy to do it. My mission is to empower, educate and entertain, help every woman to become the best version of herself. And I'm just out here trying to save the world one but JJ at a time. I'm helping you men too. <laughs> All right, have a good night.